Hi again. So I'm Karen DiCostanzo. We are Canine Solutions Dog School, and I'm joined by Athena, a puppy that we have been working with for just a few days now. And so one thing that I want to teach Athena is that her crate is a really good place to be. So the benefits of crate training is not just for maybe bedtime to prevent the dog from destroying the house or when you leave uh, to prevent the dog from destroying the house, but also it's great for potty training. So I want to be able to teach Athena that going into a crate is actually a really great little home for her. So I'm going to start out simply by working with her on the basis of teaching her if she does anything that I like, she's sitting, she's looking at me, I'm going to mark that behavior and reinforce. So marking means that I'm telling Athena the moment at which she's doing a specific behavior that I like that's going to lead to her getting something that she likes. And in this case, it's her food. So she's eating her meal ration right now and we're using that for training on the fly. So we're going to start working with her on the crate training. So crate training is something that is going to teach her that this is a great place for you to go when you need to relax, when there's maybe too much hubbub and chaos going on in the household, you have a busy household. So I'm gonna start out by teaching her that if you simply orient yourself in the direction of the crate or you look in the direction of the crate, you're gonna get reinforced for that. So I'm gonna start out by teaching her that we approach the crate, she looks at the crate, she gets marked and reinforced at the entrance of the crate. So I'm going to mark every time she looks in here and you'll notice that I'm starting to put the food into the crate itself. So what I'm doing is I'm teaching her that this behavior that you're doing is going to yield outcomes that you like. And I'm going to teach her that, uh, by the way, you can collect your paycheck for that behavior in here. So she's looking at the crate. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that and feed in the crate. So she begins to learn that this is a place where good things happen and she might wanna spend more time here. So you see that she's a little bit tentative about going into the crate. So one thing that I'm gonna do that may help her is to increase the pay rate, so to speak. So increasing the pay rate simply means that I'm going to provide her with a higher value food reinforcer. Some dogs work really well for uh, praise and petting. And in this case, since I um, don't really know Athena very well, I'm using food because praise and petting may not be something that she's interested in from me. So again, I'm going to increase her rate of pay. I'm gonna teach her that when she uh, goes in here, orients to here, looks at the crate, anything of those, of those things that she's gonna get reinforced inside the crate. So here she sort of gathers up her courage. She steps in all the way. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. And I'm doing that with a clicker. You can also use a verbal marker like yes or good. And that is simply designed to tell her, hey, the thing you're doing right this minute, that is what's gonna get you paid. So she's choosing to stay inside of the crate and I'm reinforcing her by providing a lot of food. So we keep the rate of reinforcement really high for her. And that way she learns, hey, this is a high paying gig. I should maybe do a little bit more of this. So I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm not blocking the entrance. She is free to come and go as she pleases, but I'm gonna teach her that if she decides to hang out in the crate, she gets paid really well for being in the crate. So eventually I want to get to the point where I can start to teach her that sometimes the crate door is going to close. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell her I'm about to touch the door. So I'll just say door, touch the door, and I'll teach her that that means you get paid again. So door, I move it just a little bit. So I'm not trying to close it right now. I'm not trying to shut her in or trick her into staying. So here again, I'm just going to allow her to come and go as she wants to. So if she decides to come out, that's completely fine. I'm going to, again, teach her that if she looks in the direction of the crate, orients to the crate, steps into the crate, does anything in relation to the crate, she gets paid in the crate. So we'll give her just a moment to see if she wants to uh, walk in again or look in. So she looks in again. I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce her with a high value reinforcer. I'm just using some freshly cooked chicken. So again, she looks in the crate. She decides to spend a moment in the crate. She gets reinforced in the crate. We'll give her just a moment to decide what she wants to do here. She decides to step in. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her several little pieces of chicken. So she learns that this is a really great thing to do. And then I'll go back to working on door. So door, moving it just slightly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and feed her. So in this case, I'm simply teaching a positive association between my touching the door, so door moving, and her getting something that she likes inside the crate. And you'll see she looks pretty happy to be in here. 
door. I'll go ahead and latch it this time. And I'm gonna teach her that when that happens, it produces nice things inside this crate. So I give her a few bites of chicken, and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the door yet again. So she's free to come out if she wants to. She's not feeling like she's stuck in this crate. And that's where sometimes we uh, will try to push the dog too far, too fast, uh, outside of her comfort zone. So we're basically saying, uh, this is a jail. And I don't want her to learn it's a jail. I want her to learn that it's a nice little den for her to hang out in. So that way I am making sure that she's okay with every step of the process before I proceed along the training path. Thank you.